It's Tuesday, August 27th, 2019. Tropical Storm Dorian. It is now in the Caribbean, a medium strength storm. It continues on a northwestward track and the morning satellite very clearly shows the center of the storm, the circulation, the higher clouds being blown away from it, and you could just about make out the counterclockwise circulation of the overall system. Now, Dorian is a tropical storm. It will continue on that northwestward track, and when you look at the big picture, it is not the only system in the Atlantic. There's tropical depression number six, which literally at any point could become tropical storm Aaron. That's going to head toward the eastern portions of Canada, where already there's a low pressure system. Now, slight difference, the low pressure in Canada, it's not a tropical low, but either way, it is a circulation, a storm system, one that is actually a little bit bigger than tropical depression number six. The other thing I talked about yesterday, the plume of dust off the west coast of Africa, not likely to have any direct impact on Dorian, but it could limit further development of storms in that part of the ocean. Now, when you think of hurricanes and tropical storms, you know water temperature plays a big role. The Caribbean, the temperature is average right now, but as it approaches the Bahamas, the Gulf of Mexico, the water temperature is a little bit higher, a little bit above average. You've seen spaghetti plots. Now these are just the center points of a few different models. When you look more closely at the model forecast center points, you'll notice in the Bahamas, some show a T for tropical storm, others show a one for category one. So there's uncertainty as to what the exact strength of this system is going to be and the exact location. And that's exactly why the National Hurricane Center uses a five day forecast cone to tell you that it's not definite where it will be. But at this point, it's pretty certain it's going to the northwest and it will border on hurricane strength, meaning it could be a strong tropical storm or a category one going into the weekend. Now, look at the fifth day, Sunday morning, in a perfect forecast, that yellow area will show you where the center of the storm would be, but it's only for the center. It doesn't tell you the size of the storm, the strength of it, or the impact. So just keep that in mind. It's a really critical thing about hurricane forecasts. Again, perfect forecast would put it on the east coast of Florida, either as a tropical storm, maybe a tropical depression, and the small possibility of a hurricane. But just look at the position. It could be a smaller system with a more limited impact, or it could be north of the Bahamas. Potentially, it could be in the Gulf of Mexico. Again, likely as a tropical storm or a tropical depression, or it could end up not even on the coast of Florida by Sunday morning if it slows down. If it speeds up, it could be in north central Florida. All of these, a bunch of scenarios for a system that is days away from the United States. And when we talk about tropical weather, you always have to look at the uncertainties. Nothing is definite as you look farther into the future. The one certain thing about Tropical Storm Dorian is we're going to get new data every day. Models will not catch everything, so there is uncertainty. No matter where you are, if you're near that forecast cone, you've got a plan for that uncertainty. And if you're way out in the forecast cone, if you're unsure, just do the basic things you can now to get prepared for the case of inconvenience. Fill up your gas tank, fill your prescription medicines, and of course, clean up around the house, around the yard, just get things in order. We're in the middle of hurricane season. Watch more videos like this, plus a recent retrospective I did on Hurricane Harvey on my YouTube channel, Alan Seals Weather. And also I just completed one on Hurricane Katrina. The anniversary is this week. Stay safe.